cabinet on Tuesday declared Mbare's new lines area a state of emergency, paving way for the relocation of the residents to conducive areas while reconstruction is being done. Cabinet noted that the intervention had been necessitated by the long-standing dire living conditions in the new lines area, which is fertile ground for diseases such as cholera. Elvis Mashauri gives us more. Streams of sewer, mountains of uncollected garbage, and dilapidated houses are now the trademark in Paris' new lines area. All this is happening in the backdrop of rising cholera cases, which have resulted in the death of many people in the country. Ebmo Sabeta, who has been staying in the New Lines area, is not sure of what lies ahead following the decision by the cabinet. Abana noda kura mbari muno mo hosteli, tukuto tuo daita wa nirgo, hope kutipaka naka peku garaka. Abana noda kura mbari muno. Maria chue kutuo tuto cha gope kutuo gari. Chido nengo wii nacho, asi kutuo wane maria kutuo cha ingo cha goka na stendi ya kutuo gari. Oh, pakata mba nunga one muri. Abana, jezi wana arupa kukunyo urata kati zingiru wana. Wana wesu wa murgo na waka ungana, wana waka ungana. She says that poor wages from the peace job she is doing for a living have caused her to live for over a decade in this complicated flat together with her five family members. Irukuti badara imare wanongo cha jachero maria wada pa imba pa imba togo nongwerika na tato nzina. Asi tudama 2020 munga cha badara mageti soto zima. However, Tatenda Jonas is worried about the cholera outbreak. Kwa suweji murukutuwe wona kana wakatari sapa suweji rukwere rata kato gara pa suweji. Pano ndo patuku tandarira. Pano echi boranchi no chira wano mfurachi. Murukutu wona echi. Pati suweji rukwere. Azoti upenyo wachudu tukwenda na okupi. Azoti kanziri ya chino timirasi. Meanwhile, the city council, which has been failing to offer basic services such as waste collection and repairing best sewer pipes, says it is looking into the implementing of the government decision. So what we are doing, we've constituted a team from our various departments that deal with uh, water, wastewater, waste management to be on the ground right now to clear all those blockages or this, to clear the soil blockages as well as to remove all the the refuse that is there with the funding that we're getting from from government and the other resources that we have we need to upgrade some of the sewer lines that are there because of the increased population sadly in the recent years very little has been done to maintain the floods and with the growing population in the area it has become a ticking time bomb for many health disasters Elvis Mashaure for NRTV News, Arari.